Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Josh Thomas here from the Bivlock. Sitting back, it's, what is it? It's it's 2.41 in the morning. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a perfect time to talk about Mario Party Star Rush for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, so as many of you know, this game was announced at E3, which was like a weird, surprising announcement. Uh, and many of you might also know I love Mario Party, and I wanted to take some time out to share my thoughts on it. I have watched the Treehouse Live segment probably about three times, and um, I also watched the trailer probably about four or five times. So I feel like I familiarized myself with um, Mario Party Star Rush enough to where I'm comfortable talking about it, sharing my thoughts. But of course, the whole idea behind these types of videos that I've started to do a lot more lately um, is because I also want you guys to start a conversation below about what you thought of whatever I'm talking about. So let me know what you thought about Mario Party Star Rush. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you unsure? Leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, all right, let's get to it. I, hope, I don't want this to be like 20 minutes like my Paper Mario discussion. I feel like I should be able to wrap this one up a little bit, uh, a little bit earlier. So, um, I don't hate this game. I, I don't think this game looks particularly bad, to be honest with you. There's really nothing about this game that makes me just, you know, slam my head against the desk. It seems, it seems definitely better than Mario Party 9 and Mario Party 10 and Mario Party Island Tour. Then again, uh, that's not really saying much because those games are, are pretty bad. Um, is this game developed by ND Cube? Does anybody know? Because on the official E3 website, I noticed it just says uh, Nintendo Company Limited as the developer. So is this actually being developed in-house at one of Nintendo's like studios in Japan? Or is it being developed by ND Cube? I don't know. Let me know. I'm actually really curious about that. I couldn't find out. Um, it'd be really interesting if this is not developed by ND Cube because it might be Nintendo saying, okay, never mind. You guys aren't fit to do Mario Party, we're just gonna do it ourselves. Or maybe ND Cube is busy ruining something else, I don't know. <laughs> um, so the basic premise behind Mario Party Star Rush is that everybody rolls at the same time, and your goal on the game board seems to be to get to the boss character. Uh, a boss character seems to randomly appear somewhere on the game board, and you have to be the first one to get to the boss, and if you are, then you get kind of a head start in the boss minigame and the other players have to wait a few seconds before they get to start doing it. So basically you have a better chance of doing better at the boss minigame. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not really that, ex I don't really like boss battles in Mario Party. They've been with the series for a while. I originally said that they were in Mario Party 9. Like I said, that's where they de debuted. But actually I think you can go all the way back to like Mario Party 3 and that has boss battles. Mario Party 4 has a Bowser boss battle. Um, but there's definitely, like Mario Party 9 kind of started this trend where they just take Mario characters, make them bigger, and that's a boss battle. Um, and I just don't really like boss battles in the game. I'm worried that the boss battle minigames might get really repetitive after a while. Um, they, it doesn't seem like you play a minigame after every four turns, because everybody rolls at once, so I'm not really sure how you trigger a normal minigame? Like, does this game have normal minigames? I couldn't find anything about how many minigames are in this collection, and usually that's something Nintendo promotes. So I'm really curious what's going on there. You can start a minigame if you land on the same space as another player, you can challenge them, and if you defeat them, you would get their um, ally character. So in case you don't know, like, it, it's so crazy how much Nintendo loves basic toads. Because just like in Paper Mario Color Splash, where there's a whole bunch of basic colored toads, uh, Mario Party Star Rush also has a bunch of basic colored toads. Um, and you run around the game board and you, like Mario characters will randomly pop up. And if you bump into them, they join your team. Um, it's kind of an interesting idea, I guess. I'm really curious to know what that's gonna mean. Like, they all have special abilities, like some of them can roll the die differently, some of them can, you know, like, mess with the other players by stealing things or something. Um, so I'm really curious. I want that to be something important. I want it to be like, okay, I've got Mario, Donkey Kong, and Boo. Which one do I want to do? Which one do I want to use as like my captain of my squad here? There is definitely some cool things going on in this game. And I think that because it's a Mario Party title on a handheld, I'm just personally a little bit more forgiving because on a handheld, Mario Party is never going to be the best. 
on a handheld, it's much more difficult to get all the people together to play. First of all, like, I don't know anybody else that's gonna buy this game. I'm gonna have to, like, if we play this on the fold, I'm gonna literally have to buy three or four copies of this darn game just to get it going. Um, whereas, like, a, a Mario Party on a home console, you literally just need one console, one copy of the game, and everybody can play. But on the 3DS, you need, you know, multiple 3DS systems, you need uh, multiple copies of the game. It'd be really cool if Nintendo did like a buy one, get one free with this game. Like if you buy Mario Party Star Rush digitally on the eShop, you can get a free copy, which would be like a download code to give to a friend or a family member so you can play together. I know that that sounds ridiculous and Nintendo probably wouldn't do it, but that'd be pretty amazing. Like that would be a great way to promote this game and, and get people wanting to play it. Cause otherwise it's gonna be really difficult to play this on the 3DS, cause you know, like you gotta make sure other people have it. Um, I don't think there's online play either. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of sucky, making it more difficult to actually play the game. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think the game boards might be a little bit lacking. They don't have a lot of personality. We've seen a beach game board. We've seen a cake. Uh, I saw a Bowser's Castle game board, and I think those are the only three that I generally saw. But they're on this, like, I mean, as many of you might know, it's got this new grid system instead of having, like, the circular spaces that you move to. And so it's kind of interesting, because you can, like, if you roll a four, you can decide, like, okay, what direction do I want to go in? You know, you can be like, one, two, three, four, or you can just do four straight, or you can go one, two, three, four. Um, and I thought that's kind of interesting. That that might be a neat way to move around a Mario Party game board. I just worry that from the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's a lot of interesting spaces to land on in uh, Star Rush. You know, this whole game, it just seems like, oh, it's just kind of very generic. It seems like, listen, uh, get to the boss, play the boss mini game, and that boss will be defeated. You'll get a star, and then a new boss will appear, and you just keep doing that until the game is over. I think you work your way up to Bowser at the end. I think Bowser is the fifth boss, and then the game ends. Um, the game boards seem pretty small. They seem pretty compact. I really like that they have the map on the bottom touch screen. I noticed that. I thought that looked like it'd be pretty handy. They've got like a little basic map of the game board. You can see where everything is. Um, that seems like it could be kind of fun. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I just kind of feel like, okay, this looks better than Island Tour. Looks better than 9 and 10, so I'm going to give it a chance. I, like I said, my concerns are, where are the actual minigames? When do we play a minigame other than a boss minigame? Are these boards very different from one another? And is there gonna be a lot of cool stuff that we might wanna land on on these boards? Is it a really neat idea to have these ally characters? And uh, do they have like, like what I mean by that is like, are they gonna actually have a purpose or is it just gonna be something strange and stupid? Also, will it be too confusing? I've noticed like, when you have a bunch of players next to each other and they have multiple players in their squad, there's just like a big cluster of Mario characters together and it's like, oh my God, who's who? What's going on here? So I don't know if that's gonna get confusing. Um, visually, it looks okay. I, I like this new idea. I mean, this is at least a new idea that I feel like I can kind of get behind that I'm not instantly turned off by. So we'll see. Mario Party Star Rush, I mean, I'm not really all that negative about it. I have concerns. And yes, this could end up being uh, a stupid, crappy game, but so far, I don't know, looks good enough. And, uh, you know, I'm sure it'll be the last Mario Party on the 3DS. And hopefully after that, we'll get Mario Party on the NX and it'll be like a return to the way it used to be. And it'll also have a bunch of new ideas and it'll maybe have online play and some really great local play. So we'll see. Mario Party uh, Star Rush, pretty good. I liked it. Um, some of the new ideas are cool. Some of the stuff has me worried, so we'll see. It's kind of a wait and see thing. Like I said, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Uh, I don't, did they mention how the Amiibos are gonna be played? Cause obviously they're launching Amiibo with this game, this holiday season. And I'm wondering if maybe the Amiibo are like, you tap the Amiibo and you get that person in your squad. I don't know, that would maybe make it a little bit unfair though. Um, so we'll see. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of Mario Party Star Rush and whether or not you're gonna pick it up and uh, maybe do you share my concerns? Are you also worried that the game boards are a little bit bland? The boss mini games might get a little bit old? Um, or maybe not, I don't know, let me know. Keep it locked right here to the BitBlock guys for a lot more coverage on all things Mario Party and Nintendo and E3 and all sorts of stuff. All right, see you guys later.